Yeah, about an hour ago, a racial justice group called the Tacoma Action Collective released that new cell phone video. It was taken by someone who was driving by as Ellis was being confronted by police. Now, you are about to see two separate videos, and on parts of those videos, we have zoomed in so that you can get a better look at what's happening. And we just want to warn you that this video is disturbing. Just arrest him! Oh my god, that looks so scary! You're gonna get it again. Put your hands behind your back. Your hands behind your back. Now, again, that video was just released, uh, appearing to show police aggressively restraining Ellis, punching him multiple times, and also asking him to put his hands behind his back while it appears that an officer is on top of him. We did reach out to the Tacoma Action Collective for comment. They gave me timestamps of the video showing that it was taken on March 3rd at 11.22 p.m., right as this was happening. I also sent the video to Tacoma Police, and we are still waiting for a response from them. Uh, the mayor, however, just released a statement about all of this saying, quote, I join with Governor Jay Inslee in vowing that we are determined to have a full, complete and independent investigation into the death of Manuel Ellis. Nothing less is acceptable. And I plan to discuss this further on Friday with the city council. Now, the Pierce County Sheriff's Department is investigating all of this. I just got off the phone with the uh, public information <coughs> officer at the department just moments before we came on air. He said the department has not yet seen this video, but that they want to talk to the person who shot it. We don't know who that person is at this time. The Ellis family says uh, that they want to see an independent investigation happen here and they want to see the state attorney general's office step in and do a prosecutorial investigation. Live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.